This is the EVP Podcast. Yep, that's right. We are the EVP Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Beaker. And I am your other host, Ghosty. So I'm going to just put this out there right now. At last week's episode, we mentioned that we had some EVPs that we're going to play. Um, we kind of recorded these episodes back to back. We didn't have time to go over those EVPs, so I promise they will be on the next episode. <laughs> yeah. Because um, maybe, maybe we'll listen after this episode. After this episode is aired, I will be on vacation, so I will have plenty of time to listen to those. Send all your EVPs now, send, folks. Yes, yeah, send us all of your EVPs that you want us to have on the show. Now's um, your time. Yes. <laughs> we'll have a whole show of EVPs. That'd be dope, actually. Uh, yes. For those of the you that don't know, like our show is called the EVP Podcast, but we did that because it's called Energy, Visions, and the Paranormal. If you don't know, now you know. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle, according to Dean and Joe. <laughs> um, so we've spent a couple weeks talking about uh, cryptids. Mystical things. Mystical things. Possibly from, real. Possibly real. Some Native American cryptids. Um, some really cool stuff from around the world last week we talked about giants uh we felt like we should go back into maybe a honda location so this week we are traveling all the way to indonesia to a little place called lawang sewu lawang 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 let's go with lawang lawang sewu in indonesia which is um <clears throat> this place was a former office building in Semarang, central java and it was the head office of the Dutch East Indies Railway Company. Do you know what that word meant, though? The Lawang Le- Sewu? Lawang Sewu. We can get into that now um, if you want. Oh, no. we can. If you have it ready, we can talk about that later. I, I mean, it is the... kind of like the next part in, okay. in, in the, the pretend notes. That I just I wanted to say something. You can well. say Go for it. <laughs> no, 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 so no, no. It I is a Javanese to... word. <laughs> Lawang Sewu is a Javanese word. What does it stand for, ghosty? A thousand doors. But does it really have a thousand doors? No, it doesn't. How many does it have? I don't even know. 600. 600. You're so Very damn good. close. 600. So close to a thousand doors. But the reason why they call it Lawang Sewu or, or a thousand doors is because of all the archways and windows that they have in this place. It looks like there's a thousand doors throughout this whole building. It looks like you're looking in double mirrors. when you look. Did you see pictures of it? Yes, I've seen pictures yeah, of it. Yeah, so... Yeah, when you look down certain corridors, it looks like you're looking through double mirrors because it just looks like it goes on forever. Yeah, like an infinity infinity hallway. It's pretty damn weird. Yeah, there's and if you collect enough, like six of them, you can snap your fingers and destroy <laughs> half of the building. Um, <laughs> if your name is Thanos. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, this was a yeah. Or like I said, originally an office building for the Dutch East Indies Railroad Company. The Dutch, you know, the same people that apparently put uh, pirate marks on Jack Sparrow, <laughs> um, the dust Dutch East Indie Trading Company. This uh-huh. was the railroad company. Okay. Um, so this, the complex consists of several buildings. There's two main buildings named A and B, very creative here. Oh. Uh, and then there's two smaller ones named C and D. Oh, they didn't go with one and two? No, no, Damn. they went A, B, C, D. Uh, now there are two identical towers on building a, which were originally used to store water with each having a capacity of about 7,000 liters or 1800 U S gallons, U S gallons. So 7,000 liters for everyone that's not in the U S and then for like 20 of you in the U S it's 1800 gallons. Is it, (laughs) it, is the U S only one that uses gallons? Pretty sure. Um, I like that they call it U.S. gallons. Yes, then. well, because we're on the metric system where everybody's imperial. I like that. Or, uh, sorry, reverse that. We're in the imperial. Everybody else is on the metric system. <laughs> it's funny when I talk to my friends in Canada and they get gas in liters. We get it in gallons. So, yes, I'm pretty sure we're the only ones who use gallons. I like we're, it. We're backwards. Um, <laughs> the building features large stained glass windows and a grand staircase in the center. There was also once a tunnel connecting building A to several other sites in the city, including the governor's mansion and the harbor, which is important to know for later. Okay. Noted. Okay. So building B is located behind building A. It is three stories in height with the first two floors consisting of offices and the third holding a ballroom. And the building with high, large windows also has a basement floor that is kept partially flooded to serve to cool the building through evaporation. 
Oh, because it's humid as shit. Yes. It's really hot in Indonesia. And this was, you know, being that this construction on this place started in 1906, I believe. Um, 1904, actually. Uh, Which means automatically it's haunted. Haunted, yes, over 100 years old. Uh, actually, it's in it's in the eastern country, so it has to be over 500 years. Mm. Uh, it doesn't quite meet the EVP standards. Let's see if it Let's does. Let's see if it's really haunted. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll get to that. Um, if it was made in America, definitely, would the definitely on. haunted. It's over a hundred years old, but I think we established that if it's if it's on the eastern continent. Yeah, but I guess it depends on how long this this city's been established for. But maybe I, a long I time. Know. Who knows? I'm oh not well. Sure. Now, the front of Building A stands a monument to five employees that were killed during the Indonesian National Revolution. Okay, so a little bit about this. Um, it was designed by Cosman Kreitoen? Krakatoa. I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, it, could, so <coughs> it says it can be described as a traditional style between traditionalist and the modernist, which was strongly influenced by... Uh, the design of the barrel, uh, burr log. Now, the, fir- the no, construction of A-Hall, or A-Building, started in 1904, and that was completed in 1907, so it only took three years. Uh, the rest of the complex was finished in 1919. It was initially used for the Niederlandisch Indisch... I can't even pronounce yeah. it. It was, it, was, <laughs> it was a railway that the, the company in the Dutch, Dutch East Indies had. So, again... It was it was used for the railway, <laughs> railway railroads. Yes, rail carts. Rail carts. It was, way, it was building to get stuff around. Yeah. Uh, so so after the Japanese invaded Indonesia in 1942, the and I Jap- didn't even know that this happened. I didn't know that the Japanese invaded over there. Oh, they sure did in 1942. Yeah. So World War Two. Because I know that they what they did in the Philippines, that was, you know, we have, you know, that history. But I had no idea that they went over there and they were killing Dutch like crazy. Well, I mean, the Dutch were in Indonesia, which is not yeah. anywhere near where they're from. But Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. They but they, the Dutch over. were over there. The and they were, were, they the were over there. The Japanese were like, hey, no, this is ours now. Yeah, and they didn't even put up a fight. They just, they just got taken as prisoners. Yeah, they sure did. Now, the basement of Building B was turned into a dungeon. So keep in mind, this is where they keep it flooded for the air conditioning reasons. So it's just humid. Yeah. And in this dungeon, they would torture and execute some of the prisoners there. Um, When Semarang was taken by the Dutch in battle in October of 1945, the Dutch forces used the tunnels leading into Building A to sneak into the city. So you remember I said earlier, Building A had Mm -hmm. tunnels that went to like the harbor the governor's mansion. Well, I, I don't know if the Japanese knew this or they not. not know. I'm assuming they didn't know because the Dutch were able to use their little secret tunnels to take back. Uh-huh. And say woo. Take that. Yes. They did. <laughs> they took it back. They took it back. Uh, there was a battle that ensued, obviously, when they're taking back, uh, mm. with numerous Indonesian fighters dying. And this is where the five employees working were killed, was during this battle. Oh, okay. While the Dutch were taking it back from the Japanese. And I saw there were sketches of the, like, prisons, or, like, the prisoners that they took. And it looks like they just took these guys. And these guys weren't, like, warriors or, or, or military. They were just, like, working in these offices. Yeah. And they got taken prisoners, and they were tortured, and then, like, strung up in, like, barbed wire, and then just cut up. The pictures depicted them, like, being, their stomachs being sliced open. They and, probably were. Yeah, it's pretty gross looking, but... Yeah, I heard some crazy stories about what the Japanese would do back then. That's yeah, but I just, I guess it wouldn't be in our history books. It would be in uh, the Dutch history books. Yeah, you're not going to really find a lot of history on Indonesia um, when you're taking American history classes in high school. Well, yeah, I yeah. mean that only makes sense. <laughs> um, unfortunately, they don't teach a lot of world history in, in school. It's American history. Learned about a lot about Europe in high school for no reason. Yeah, I know. It was, for it no reason American at all. Europe, well, that's because that's where the history comes from. Well, I guess so, yeah. According to a comedian I used to listen to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's where history comes from, is Europe. Yeah, our history comes from Europe. So that's why we learn about European and American history in our schools. Uh, so after the Indonesian arm, uh, after the war, after World War II, 
Uh, the Indonesian army then took over Lewing Sewu, and they later returned it to the National Railway Company. And in 1992, it was declared a cultural property of Indonesia. Now, by 2009, the complex was in a state of considerable <coughs> disrepair, mainly. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm dying here. Uh, dilap uh, dilapidation. So, it was kind of run down. So, Simon Marcus Grauer, he wrote in his book, The Jakarta Port, he noted it and said it was a dark and evidently sick building. Its white walls are faded throughout, blackened by pollution and neglect. Rendered walls are cracked, and any wallpaper has long since fallen away to reveal the red bricks beneath. Mold and weeds grow over much of the building, and mice and rats are the chief residents. Uh, the building went under reservations in 2009. Reservations or renovations? Renovations. They didn't go through <laughs> reservations. Maybe they had some reservations about the renovations. Um but they went through renovations to ensure that it would be profitable as a tourist attraction. And the governor at the time mobilized several dozen soldiers to assist with the renovations. The soldiers focused on external repairs, and local residents were very disappointed in the renovations, uh, saying that it had lost its authenticity. Uh. Now, on July 5th of 2011, it they reopened the complex, and I'm... Shut up over there. Shut up. I'm, yep, I'm going <laughs> to put that down. Um, it was inaugurated by First Lady uh, Annie Yu, Yud Ho Ono. Oh I, mm. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> that's the best I can do on that pronunciation. However, at the time, only Building B was available for tours. Uh, it was hoped to be a main attraction in the Central Java Government tour, uh, Tourism Program in 2013. Now, future plans to include the, the include transforming Building B into office space, a food court, and even a gym. In late 2013, the Samarang city government announced plans to eliminate the building's spooky image in order to attract more visitors. This was to encompass a re-imaging of the site as a place for social and cultural activities supported by renovations of the building. At the time, the Wang Sewu attracted an average of a 1,000 visitors daily. Um... Now, there is, like, it had kind of gotten the reputation of being haunted. And a lot of people were thinking that maybe it was going to keep tourists away. But I think that kind of helped it. Obviously, we're getting, like, they're getting, like, a thousand people a day going in there. Right. So they're not, like, <laughs> creeped out by the spookiness of it. Right. I would want to go. I would, too. Because it looked like people can just go up there and start just, like, touring it and stuff. Uh, yeah. I looked on their website, and it was something like, 65 cents for a tour or something. I don't see. That's a lot of money per day though. 65 they, cents a day that they make. Yeah. 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 And that, I don't know if that's like American or their currency or whatever. I'm sure it's just translated to American. Probably. Currency. It's probably, you know, whatever they use. I don't even know what kind of money they use. Over the there. kind that, that, that they spend <laughs> paper and paper, coin, paper and coin and currency. It's magical. <laughs> So they got ghosts now, Do though. Do they have ghosts? Well, they better have ghosts. I sure hope so. So, I mean, you think about how... I don't. They don't even say how many people were killed when the Japanese All were there. All of them. Well, at least five. Well, <laughs> I mean, that was from the battle after. That was just the workers, yeah. Um, yeah. They don't really go into detail about how many people died there. But they just talk about that a lot of them get, did get taken prisoner and murdered. Tortured and murdered. Tortured and executed. Executed means so murder. So there's, yes, it does. So there was probably, uh, I would guesstimate, a couple hundred people. So they say that there is a spirit of a Dutch woman, a headless Dutch woman, that wanders around in there and said to have been beheaded by the Japanese. Because that's what they did a lot of beheading. Um, that was one of the ways that they executed people there. So there was not just her, there was the. Let's see who else was in there. They had this, I don't know what they call it, a Dutch woman who possesses Dinda, causing her to insult others. Oh, yeah? No, Noni Van, Van Ellen is her name. I don't know what that, she just talks shit. Sure, I, this is the first I'm hearing of this one. I didn't read this one. Yeah, so I guess she just gets caught on EVPs talking shit. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I want to go talk to her. And then I did see a video where somebody caught a shadow, and it looked 
pretty low to the ground, but it shoots across this open doorway. It doesn't look like an animal, and it happens really fast. I don't know if you saw that one. No, I didn't. But that was the only one I really saw of uh, evidence-wise. What, you, what did you see? I, well, I didn't see what people say they see. The most popular one or most well-known one here at uh, Lewing Sewu would be the, I'm going to try to say it correctly, the Kunalinak. Kuna, uh, Kuna, Kunta Lanak. Kunta Lanak. Kunta Lanak. Um, this, this creature is said to have is like a, a vampiric manifestation of a woman who died during childbirth. Uh, these creatures look like pale-skinned women with long black hair. The, the ghosts have red eyes and wear white dresses, which are smeared with blood. Legend says that they're able to change themselves into beautiful humans and prey upon men and helpless people. Uh-huh. It, it also, I guess, lures in unsuspecting men to incite so fear. The, so, and so, that's, uh, so they think that like the whole the spirit supposedly died like during childbirth. One of the other things they say is. Like it will uh, go after like pregnant women, like wanting to like get their babies because this vampire thing died during childbirth and lost their baby, so it's trying to get other people. So it's one of those cryptos. So it sounds like a lot like uh, there's something like that in the Philippines. It called the Aswang, and it's very similar to that. So I'm pretty sure they got the same same stories getting passed around. Quite possibly. Do we got any other ghosts? Those are the only ones I didn't know about. Did you know there was a movie made on this place? I heard something about that. I heard it wasn't good. I don't imagine it would be. Probably not. I want to watch it, though. <laughs> what else we got on this place? Well, the movie in 2007. Oh, okay. There was a horror movie made called Lawang Sewu Demdan Kunalinek. Kuntalinek. Okay, so it's about, so it's about the, the vampire. Okay. Um, I'm assuming. Uh, apparently, this movie is about a group of high school students from Jakarta that came to La- Loang Sewu to party. But instead, they're locked in and must fight the ghost of a Dutch woman, the ghost of a chained man, and of course, the Kunalinak. So there's a ghost of a chained man, possibly, that possibly. gets talked about. Yeah, Have I heard, heard of it? I heard this place. I heard this movie was Well, awful. they say that that, uh, that area where they did all the torturing, that dungeon area, they hear screams and a lot of weirdness. Yes, they do hear a lot of... A lot of weird noises down there. Apparently, one play at one point in time, I don't know if it still is, but uh, it was also a uh, haunted house. Hmm. I wouldn't want to walk around there. Said so brave men challenged each other to explore the building and even spend a night here. The Indonesian government saw the decay and neglect of the building and started making plans for renovation. I bet there's a lot of poisonous snakes over there. Well, it was mainly rats and mice, I guess. Which means snakes. So, yes, poisonous, snakes. Poisonous, poisonous snakes. I don't would want they be know. poisonous or would they be venomous? Venomous, venomous snakes. Because I'm not ingesting the snake. Yeah, okay, yeah. 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 We're not going to eat them. You, look, you have all of those over there. You They're not poisonous them. either. No, they shouldn't be. <laughs> they could be venomous, but not poisonous for sure. Semi-venomous. It's poison you ingest. Venom. Kind of venomous. Venom gets ingested into you. Um, no, that's about all I got really on this. Well, she ain't. Yep, pretty much. Um, I did do a house cleansing the other day. It was very interesting. I can't get into too too much details because um, I might work it to where we have the actual homeowner join us on an episode so she can tell her story and I can kind of go over what happened during the investigation. Exciting news, actually, because we're going to mess around with some equipment so we can start getting more guests on via phone call. Yes. We have a, a guy that we talked to like two years ago, so we'll see if we can get him on. Um, <laughs> yeah. Maybe longer. It's almost three. So it's 2021, now. so it's when we went to Vegas. Yeah, it's been a minute. So uh, <laughs> there's yeah, new new programming that we're looking into to get more guests on as well and talk about other stuff like aliens. Yeah, aliens, man. Aliens, Ghosts, man. man. The aliens that did Bigfoot, it. man. We can talk about some more of the Bigfoot. Big feeted f- f- foes. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, shit. Should we wrap this one up then? Uh, sure. Check out our social media is evp.pod at Facebook and Instagram. You can email us any stories that you might have from Lei Wing Sei Wu or just <laughs> any stories at all. Uh, evp.pod at gmail.com. Check out our affiliate link to ghostop.com. Buy some ghost hunting gear and go do the ghost hunting stuff. Well, all right, y'all. Ghosts, you don't play that. Peace out, butterflies. Peace <laughs> out, butterflies.
This is the EVP Podcast.